Rudolph played really well, and I know he has starting experience, and he's playing with third and fourth units, but 17-21, 127 yards in the game win or two. We were really excited about that a week ago with Trubisky. Here's where I'm at with Mason Rudolph, Ike. Get to the regular season. Trade deadline's not till November. Unless you're going to get back a third or fourth round draft pick, keep Rudolph on your roster because, God forbid, there are injuries. You at least have someone who is starting experience. To me, there's no rush to run Mason Rudolph out of town because do I think he's going to be the quarterback of the future? No. Could he come in and manage a, a, a game or two for your team? Absolutely, yes. So for me, unless you get really good return for Mason Rudolph for a team that might need a quarterback due to its own injuries, keep him on your roster. Do, what do you think of my take on that, Ike? No, you got to keep Mason. I mean, you got three. You got you got three good quarterbacks. You you, you got a, a former Pro Bowl quarterback that has been to the uh, playoffs, and that's Mitch Trubisky. And we, you just paid him some cheese because you didn't know you was getting Kenny Pickett in the first round. Now you just going on delivering. It looks like so far in the preseason, you hit big on getting Kenny Pickett. You know, we I, I thought he was the most right now ready quarterback coming out of college mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. So far, he's just making me look and sound good. You know, so and then you got Mason Rudolph, who who has a high, you know, passer rating as well in the playoffs. So, I mean, it, you got three good quarterbacks. That's <laughs> 17 for 21. Then you got one that's, you know, 18 for 19. Then you got one that's 17 for, <laughs> for 22. So as from a quarterback standpoint, when you grading, it's like I'm really nitpicking if I'm grading my quarterbacks right now, you know, because they all three of them are delivering when it comes down to, you know, either two-minute warnings or either closing the game out or either not turning the ball over. And what hopefully, do you yeah, and hopefully the line can get better, Ike, because 24 rushing yards isn't going to cut it. But, again, the quarterbacks were at least making that first defender miss, which once that was happening, the last, let's be honest, like the last three or four seasons, it's just like – you, you've got to have a guy who can move, who can wiggle a little bit. I'm not asking him to be Lamar Jackson, 